Mike, Cody, now we're sending you back to your home for just to make an iconic weapon from history. That weapon is the pipe tomahawk. <laughs> tomahawks are a First Nations weapon. The pipe tomahawk served as both a practical and ceremonial tool among Northeastern Native Americans. This variation on the tomahawk symbolized both war and peace, with a deadly axe head on one side and ceremonial smoking pipe on the other. Original tomahawks were made from wood and sharpened stones, but in the 16th century, metal heads were introduced thanks to trading with the newly arrived European settlers. This deadly weapon was light and nimble, making it lethal for both chopping and throwing. The versatility of the pipe tomahawk can be seen in the film, The Last of the Mohicans. Your final challenge is to forge a pair of pipe tomahawks. They must be effective working, fully functional versions of the pipe tomahawks that you see here. When I say working, you gotta be able to smoke them, gents. Good luck, we'll see you in five days. Good luck, bro. My name is Cody Craig. Some people have been blessed with a silver tongue. I have not, but I've been blessed with silver balls because I can make a lot of things and I have such a diverse background that could really give me an edge. Today, I'm just going to try and accomplish getting this big round stock down about an inch and a half square. That'll be closer to the final dimensions for the Hawks, so I'll be able to work them a little easier once I'm there. Heat and hammer, heat and hammer. The quench goes wrong. You have to start over. Here we go. And so that's very stressful. And... In we go. <sighs> number one appears to be good. And here comes number two. No love pops in this one either. I just gave birth to a pair of twin boy tomahawks, I suppose. <laughs> so making tomahawks that are smokable, super unique parameter. I found a bit that electricians use to run long cables like through walls. It's 24 inches long. Make sure it didn't go through the side which I definitely did. So I got some ax handles made out of ash. I'm gonna shape them down to be tomahawk handles, and then I'm gonna split them in half and draw out the groups. Overall, it's been fairly tedious having to go back and forth just to make sure they match. I mean, doing it once is one thing, but having a system to be able to do it multiple times is different. I'm gonna take a break from tomahawks for a long while. I'm Mike Rowley. I'm a teacher and a coach seventh and eighth grade girls basketball. I am very competitive, and I figure if I just beat one person per round, I can win. You never know with Damascus. I mean, it's always a risk, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. Fillets are going in. Woo! Full speed ahead. I'm drifting the holes to be able to attach the handle later, and uh, I see it tear out, and my heart just freaking drops to the soles of my feet. I got over exuberant, I was hitting it too hard instead of keeping it up to temperature. I have to start completely over because it is a matching pair. Uh, so stinking frustrating. I refuse to be the first person on Forged in Fire to not hand in finished weapons. And so I go to plan B, which is simply make a pair of pipe tomahawks out of farrier's rasp. I caught up pretty quickly. All I've got to do today is fit the tomahawk head to the handles and punch a hole through the top of the handle to ensure that it will draw smoke. <laughs> I just sucked in so much sawdust. Gentlemen, your weapons will now be put through a series of tests. But up first, the smoke test. You guys ready? I'm not a smoker, so I didn't actually smoke out of it. But this is the one test that I am uber confident on. Ready? Three. <laughs> Works. All right, smoke test is good. <laughs> one test down, three more to go. Bladesmiths, this is the kill test. To find out what kind of lethal damage your weapon will do, I'll take your tomahawks and go ham on this big carcasses. Mike, you're up first. You ready? Yes, sir.
right, Mike. These are made to chop deep. It's easy to maneuver and deliver that kind of damage. Overall, sir, your weapons will kill. Yes. Good job. Thank you. All right, Cody, you're up next. You ready for this? Yes, sir. Let's do it. Right, Cody, let's talk about your pipe tomahawks right here. The brass accents you have on the handle does make for a very good grip. It chops deep, it slices. Most importantly, your pipe tomahawk, sir, will kill. Good job. Thank you. All right, gentlemen, to test the strength of your weapons, I'll be throwing them multiple times into our wooden target here. Mike, you're up first. You ready? Yes, sir. OK. All right, Mike, so right off, these have a really good feel to them. Comfortable handle. They're very symmetrical. Blade on this one held up beautifully. This one has a bit of a delamination right down here at the bottom. And then you've got that other delamination on the edge. But it's not coming apart. And it doesn't appear to be affecting the integrity of the blade. Both pieces are still tight. So excellent job. Thank you. All right, Cody, you're up. Are you ready? Yes, sir. So <laughs> that was awesome. Uh... Hi, Cody. These look very stout, but they feel very light. I see no damage on, on either. Awesome. What happened? <laughs> uh, I didn't follow the old adage, measure twice, cut once. The uh, the difference in length is probably an inch. Didn't really affect the throw at all. They're solid pieces. They're strong. They throw great. Awesome. Nicely done. Thank you. The tomahawk was originally a native weapon adopted by the early Americans in the revolution against the British colonials. To see how sharp your weapons are, I'm going to take your tomahawks and try to penetrate these red coats. Mike, you're up first. You ready? Yes, sir. Sick. <laughs> well, Mike, your tomahawk, sir, as you can see, are sharp. They cut easily into these red coats. It will cut. Yes. Good job. Thank you. All right, Cody, you're up. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Let's do this. All right, Cody, your tomahawks are a pleasure to wield. They feel good, and I can index. Your tomahawk, sir, will cut. Thank you. Mike, Cody, you're both badass American bladesmiths. However, in this competition, there can only be one Forged and Fire champion, and that champion is Mike. Congratulations. You are the new Forged and Fire champion. Cody, unfortunately, your tomahawks did not make the cut. Cody, these are the kind of competitions we love seeing where two bladesmiths make weapons that perform almost identically. And it came down to symmetry. We asked for a matched pair of tomahawks, and that symmetry is what cost it. All right, Cody, 
At this time, I have to ask you to please surrender your weapons. Big shout out and big congrats to Mike. You know, you brought your A game, I brought my A game, and clearly you're just a little better at measuring than I am. Mike, congratulations. You are our new Forged and Fire champion, and that is a title that comes with a check for how much? $10,000. That's right, $10,000, buddy. Please present your tomahawks to the judges. I'm forged in freaking fire champion, and it feels amazing. I can't even believe it. I can't stop smiling, dude. I'm trying not to.